What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It's Friday. Happy Friday to y'all. And even though these have been overshadowed, a lot of people have been asking me to do the Player of the Week review, okay? So we're actually going to go into them. Yes, it's all about Messi this week, lads. It's all about Messi, 101, 102, 101. We've got two versions of Messi. We will be streaming in a little bit to play a little bit more with the two versions of Messi and uh, check out some stuff. Um, but yeah, there has been two Player of the Week selections out as well, right? And there's a couple of players in here that I wanted to talk about, okay? At this stage in the game, I think these players are pretty much being based on newcomers, you know, where you can come in, you can get your free spin, this one isn't free this week with the event, you get the other one, the European one, but you get a free spin most of the time with the player of the weeks, you don't have to train up the players, you don't have to get XP, you don't have to do anything, you literally just get the player that you have here, I'm actually going to hide my, uh, my face cam here a sec, just to show you this player as well, Pavoletti, because he's one of the featured one, right? So there are some nice players here. The thing I like about the player of the weeks is that you don't have to mess around with any training, right? But as far as actually using these players, I would say that these players are only as good as Division 5. Now, what I mean by when I say only as good as Division 5 is once you get past Division 5 or 4, you're going to be coming up against guys that play meta most of the time. And these players just won't cut it. You have to kind of choose, if you want to be competitive and go up the ranks, you have to kind of choose from the top 50 to 60 players in the game and play a meta formation. Now, if you're playing just for fun, you can use any player. Everything goes out the window, right? But we will start with this center forward, and straight away you're going to see what kills him there is acceleration and balance. Even though he's a fox in the box, he's got some nice uh, player skills, including super sub and fighting spirit, and one touch pass and first time shot. Not a bad player. 95 heading, 88 uh, finishing. But even at that, his, uh, his height isn't as massive as the likes of, you know, Collar or somebody like that. There's a lot of options that are like 195 centimeters for a center forward with better stats and actually faster. Um, and this guy, even though he does have 88 finishing, which will go to a 90 with the manager boost, he actually is a fairly okay player, but not any good, I think, compared to other players that you can get in that role. We also have our traditional goalkeeper, and the minute I see uh, reflexes won't hit 90, uh, I, I'm just not interested in this goalkeeper. Again, a good start base goalkeeper if you are starting off the game, but not going to be able to be in your uh, mid-game squad even. Again, we've got Pinnock having a great season this year in the Premier League so far. Very physical, very strong. A little bit slower than he probably should be, um, but he he does have some nice player skills. That's what I always look for in a build-up player because he's more of a ball-playing guy. He can loft it pass. He's got heading. Uh, his defensive engagement is quite poor, but he will have 90 aggression, which is quite decent, and 70-plus acceleration. I think he's a little bit too slow and a little bit too short for both of your positions. You know, you need somebody that's fairly tall that can deal with the aerial threat, and then you need somebody really aggressive and also really fast and, and mobile. Antonio Silva from the free pack is actually quite decent. We also have DeMarco. This guy was released in the Inter Milan pack as well. He's had a Showtime pack. He's a good player, right? 90 acceleration. You've got 84 speed, 91 lofted pass. He's a pass first cross specialist, left midfielder or left back. Defensively, he's okay. As he using him, and as using him in 352, he's not too bad. But other than that, I mean there are better players there that you can have. Crossing at the moment is seriously nerfed, like ridiculously nerfed. Headers have been ridiculously nerfed. So I do feel that he is a little bit kind of um too late in the game unless they change things. We also have Lozano. So this guy is down as a whole player, but he's down as a left midfielder. He can't play AMF, which is a strange one. Very fast, very mobile. Dribbling, speed, and acceleration are all going to be into the 90s with the manager boost. And of course, he's got some nice player skills as well. He doesn't have double touch, which is a bit of a pity. And I would say that he's a bit of a skip as well, apart from blister and pace. You know, you can get players like this, like Diaby, uh, Diaz from Liverpool on the standard um, that will go really really high in speed and acceleration this guy's got some good stats man and as a whole player he has got decent stats if you do pull him I definitely would give him a try with the A form Isco is another player as well that has been crying out for, love, for a decent card very very silky on the ball right I've seen a couple of people complaining that he lost his actual face in game and I do agree that it doesn't look anything like him but one touch pass first time shot long range curler and shooting and of course, he's got soul control, flip flap and double touch. So he's got that ball roll, special double touch that people like to use. He's very silky on the ball. And this is the type of player that you could use 
and he could ball for you depending i would say that he suits possession based play um a lot but he can still use with the meta kind of attack and midfielder just don't be surprised that he does feel a little bit slow off the ball you know because he's only got 70 speed uh which isn't great but excellent stats other than that you know he's hitting nearly the 90 in all the main stats you want as a creative playmaker right we also have another center back similar issues to pinnock he's a little bit taller very good aerial uh, strength very good physical contact doesn't have the best defensive engagement and he also doesn't have the best speed or acceleration which you're going to be meaning you're going to be using him as your kind of aerial guy and he doesn't have a couple of player skills and the fact that you can't add player skills to these guys it does kind of ruin some of the cards right so you can't add blocker to him which is a big pity um on that Leroy Sané one of my favorite players to use now we're talking about impact players and we're talking about players that can actually make a huge difference to your squad with very little input if you actually get lucky enough to pull a player like this he's actually going to have with the manager boost of any of the top managers such as Klopp, Guardiola, Tuchel or Simeone or any of the premium managers such as Ten Hag or any of them, Xavi, you've got acceleration that's going to be maxed out at 99, 98 speed with the boost, kicking power 94, balance 80 and of course you're going to have ball control, dribbling and tight possession all in the mid 80s or the mid 90s and he's also got 75 finishing and 91 curl with 80 lofted pass excellent player skills he has soul control he doesn't have double touch but to be honest with you this guy is so silky on the ball he's one of my favorite players to use and this is another whole player that you definitely will want interestingly enough he can't play attacking midfielder so i do feel his previous attacking midfielder uh whole player player of the week was better we also have in ketia this guy is fairly average in my opinion yes he's got 90 finishing with the boost yes he's got 88 acceleration and 86 balance but he's got standard form and he is missing a couple of center forward traits that you would want from him such as long range curler and you can't give him that chip shot control he's missing but he does have super sub which i think puts this guy into a top tier uh, impact super sub type player right now the reason why i would always class people as either a starter and then a, like an impact player such as inzaghi or somebody that can come on as a super sub is what you're trying to do is you're either trying to give a, your team a boost with pace or super sub or traits that bring them on with player skills such as inketia or any of those guys or else you're trying to change your play style whether you go from a tree 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 or a tree four tree then into a four four two or a four tree um tree or whatever you want to attack with you can always change things so he is a fairly good super sub we also have bellingham and halland right halling halland also has super sub right i don't know why he has super sub because he starts every game that he's fit but he still has that super sub unwavering form i haven't really ever got on with halland lads apart from the first maybe month or so of efootball uh 22 where he was scoring goals left right and center for me 58 balance is the big big issue here you know he is he's only 58 balance which is a killer for him and his tight possession is so poor you can't train him up 87 speed is okay 96 finishing is going to be maxed out kick and power is good physical contact is good but his heading is quite bad um for a player of this caliber very nice super skills uh, our super sub skill player player skills uh, and i would say because of the impact that he can have off the bench he is definitely top tier if you pull him and then on to bellingham so bellingham has been lighting the world up on fire with real madrid recently most notably he got this because of the barcelona victory that they had um double touch flip flap soul control long range shout shooting first time shot one touch pass interception and fighting spirit this card is not as good even though he's a whole player I don't think this card is as good as the free one that was on the nominating contract simply because you can't give him any player skills and also because you are missing a couple of defensive stats which I think Bellingham his box to box position and his player ID with the box to box is way better. Now this is a very silky attacking midfielder but the one thing you're missing out with him here is the fact that he doesn't have that acceleration at around 78 to 80. When I usually I'm building Bellingham I will build an attacking build with 80 acceleration um and tight dribbling and all that to go with his player skills and when i'm building a defensive guy i usually try and get his aggression to 90 so yes if you get him you've never had him before he's a great player he's one of the best players in the game at the moment Sané, bellingham and Haaland are obviously the top picks but isco is definitely in the top four as well so if you do end up getting them let me know what you guys think we will be live streaming later i have all these player builds up including the bellingham free one uh, if you want to check that out but until then lads don't forget to check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe we're going to be doing a massive massive giveaway at 40,000 subs uh, so hopefully we can get there uh, eventually so yeah we will talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content i'll talk to you later